This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. So let's talk about February 2023. Um, when I say February 2023, I'm actually using January data. Uh, and I'm only doing it on single family homes, guys. So, and that's the way I do it every month so we can compare and contrast apples to apples. This month, currently available in single family homes, right now we have 5,599. That's down again from last month by about 600 homes. Uh, under uh, Homes under contract, pending or contingent, 2,489. Now that's up significantly. That's up about 700 from last month. Wow. That's a nice number to see. I'm encouraged by that because the activity up to this point has been really slow. Right. Closing sold in the last 30 days, 1,399. That's a low number, guys. That's a very small number, about That's half low. a normal. It's the lowest number since, I want to say, 2008. I think that, yeah, these are crazy low numbers. Months worth of inventory. We currently have about four months worth of inventory based on those numbers I just read to you. And average days on market right now is 44. Um, last month, we had a little more available in inventory. We had a lot less pending and contingent. So I'm encouraged by seeing that more houses are going to escrow now. That's good. So there are sold over the next 30 days. Should, we should see that increase. Last year, this is interesting. Last year at this time, available inventory, 2,095. Wow. Uh, pending and contingent, 3,711. So we had more under contract than we had available at this time last year. Uh, sold in, within the last 30 days was 2,451. We, we had less than a month's worth of inventory. And the average days on market then was 28. Now, getting into some of my charts and graphs, I have a pie chart that I'm going to pull out. I haven't pulled this one out in a while. But it's, it's, it's a pie chart showing days on market without an offer. And this is for single-family homes. And homes that are on the market for up to 45 days, 40% of our market. 46 to 67% of our market. 60 to 90, 12%. 90 to 120, another 12%. And over 120 days, almost 30% of our inventory has been on the market over 120 days. Wow. Okay, hey guys, what does that mean? If you're a seller and you're not priced right, you're going to be out there a while. That's what that really means. Uh, honestly, you need to be very conscious of pricing right now. Next is our stack chart. This shows the number of uh, the volume of sales of single family homes on any given month. And this goes back to 2004. This goes back 20 years. And you can see that this showing we in this in this graph, they had 1,329 closings in January. That's the lowest number on this chart for 20 years of I think of any month. Well, no, that's not true. 2008 was 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 lower. 2008, 2007, 2008 were pretty. They were horrible. <laughs> Let's not even talk about those years. Uh, but nonetheless, other than that, this is the worst. This is the lowest amount of activity we've had. Um, oh, and, and it's and interesting. Last year started like gangbusters. Last year started like it was going to be one of the best years ever. In the first you know five six months, then the last six months were flat, very very slow. And so it ended up finishing, you know, in the bottom half of this this over the uh, year over year at the bottom half of activity on any given year. Uh, the next uh, bar chart I have is, again, showing the number of closings on any given year. Um, and again, for 2023, 1,329 so far. Last year, we did 27,994 single-family homes. That was the lowest year in the last 10. That was the by far the lowest volume year in the last 10. Even though we started like gangbusters. It didn't, the, end, it didn't end well, did it? Did not end well last year. Did not at all. Um, then I have a line chart here showing our uh, median price. Our median price has come down to 425, and it's kind of remained stable at 425 in the single-family homes. I've been looking at these uh, uh, homes over a million dollars, the luxury sales as we call it, and I've been watching it. You know, two years ago, in 2021 was the best year ever, double any previous year in terms of homes. Uh, 2022 was second best, uh, nearly caught it, but not quite. This year we started off actually started off as though it's going to be the third best year ever because we've, we've had 75 closings of over a million dollars in January, which is, that's a pretty strong number right, considering right. everything else that's going, going on. That's a pretty strong number, guys, and we'll have to see. But here's the other thing. Because the median price has been climbing year over year, a million dollar house now, back in 2013, might have been 650000 a, a lot different. Then the last one I want to go over is this, this line graph that I've been making every month for the last year or so, actually maybe a couple years now. Uh, and what this shows is a, it shows a, a line graph showing the number of homes sold, the second one shows the available properties, and the third is the median price. The interesting thing about this is the median price is pretty flat for the last 12 months. It peaked back in uh, June or, or May, I should say, about at about 480, 481,000. Uh, but right now it's at 425, um, which is you know the lowest point it's been in the last 12 months. Uh, and and but it's kind of leveled off. It's you say you saw it come down pretty dramatically uh, right from June to July, and then in August it came down again dramatically, and then since then it's come down just a bit each month. But it's kind of leveled off the last few months at 425. The interesting thing also is is, is the available inventory. It peaked back in uh, October uh, at 8,434. Right now we have 5,599. That's getting back to a very low number. 
right. the inventory shrinking, guys. And so that's our monthly market update. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at LV Real Estate Radio. 